one of the biggest challenges that Dick had and all of the great special effects people that were on it, nobody would flown on screen before, except in, in stupid ways where you could, you could see the backdrop and they're going by, I mean, you know, the, out of the TV series of Superman. Nobody knew how to make him fly. The first time I ever saw Chris really fly was at Shepperton Studios where we built Fortress of Solitude interior. They said, okay, let's try it. And they rolled cameras and he took off the takeoff and the landings were terrible. It was very difficult to coordinate the cable movement up and down and lateral and without jerking him all over the place. And he took off beautifully. 